Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, May 13th. I'm Laura Boyd. And I'm Barry Harris. Today is the big day of the student council election. Right now, homeroom is being extended for five minutes for you to fill out your ballots. Use a number two pencil to fill out the Scantron sheets. And yes, seniors, you are allowed to vote as Per the Constitution of the Student Council, you have the right to vote. So if you want to take advantage of that, go ahead. So while you do that, we're going to start off with a look at the current temperatures. Hi, this is Steph with the weather. Today will be sunny with a high of 69. Tonight's low will be 56. The current temperature is 52 degrees and the humidity is at 73%. And the barometric pressure is at 30.37 and steady. And now to birthdays. Hi, this is Sophie with the birthdays. The birthdays for today are Monica Sherlock, Danielle Longdale, Kelly Evans, Mo Quinn, Paul Subers, and Chris McCall. Happy birthday. Now over today's headline. Good morning. This is Jess with today's headline. The government announced yesterday that Medicare and Social Security are headed for insolvency years earlier than predicted. Now it's back to the news desk. The library will close for the year on June 5th. All books must be returned to the library no later than May 22nd. Students who do not return their library books by that date will be billed for their materials. Attention all seniors, student bills must be paid in order to purchase tickets for the senior prom. Please see Ms. Claus in purchasing to pay on or check a bill. Now over to sports. Good morning, this is Allie with today's sports. The girls lacrosse team lost to Radnor yesterday, taking them out of the playoffs. Steph Parcell was the Bucks' leading scorer in the game, bringing her number of career goals to 274. Way to go, Steph. The baseball team defeated Penwood yesterday, 11-0. And the softball team also defeated Penwood yesterday, 12-1. They play again today at home against Central Bucks South at 345. The Phillies defeated the Dodgers yesterday, 5-3. The Phillies play them again tonight at home at 705. And that's it for sports. Now over to the news desk. As you know, Don Tolson will be in the library Friday during 10th period talking to television studio production students, all of whom have taken the course this year, as well as Digital Media Club members. You must have your 10th period teacher's permission to attend, Mr. Nelly will send out a list of students who are invited to attend. In other news, if any senior would like their scholarships or awards announced in the graduation booklet, Mr. Fisher needs the information submitted on the college's letterhead and turned into his office no later than May 30th, but as soon as possible would be best. We have a new archive segment that we have posted exclusively to YouTube. This was a little slice of life back in the early 90s at Interborough High School. This is Mr. Mullen doing the voiceover. This was meant for television studio production students to learn how to edit and set up shots. You can see the full clip in its entirety right on YouTube. Now we turn our attention to the menu item of the day. Hi, this is Nick with the menu. Today we'll have stuffed peppers with rice and chilled pears and a whole wheat dinner roll. And tomorrow we'll have chicken pot pie with mixed vegetables, dinner roll, and fresh fruit. Mmm. Now over to the vocab word. Good morning, everybody. This is Kyle with the vocab word of the day. Today's vocab word is forbearance, meaning patience or resistance or even tolerance. For example, it takes great forbearance for me to be cooped up in school all day on an excellent day like this. Now everybody came with the quote of the day. Odin Nash once said, there are two kinds of people in this world that blow through life like a breeze. One of those kinds is gossipers, and the other kind is gossipies. Now over to this day in history. This is Chris with this day in history. On this date, May 13th, 1607, Jamestown, Virginia was settled as a colony of England. In 1982, the Chicago Cubs became the first Major League Baseball team to win 8,000 games. Now over to trivia. This is Brooke with the trivia. Did you know that Alaska could hold 21 of the smallest states? Now over to entertainment. This is Chris with Entertainment. The DVDs coming out this week are Taken, Underworld, Rise of the Lycans, and Passengers. Now back to the news desk. That's it, everyone. Thanks for watching Kaleidoscope. I'm Laura Boyd. And I'm Barry Harris. Uh, the Senior Class of Congress would like to thank everybody for coming out for Dancing with the Teachers, and we're going to leave you today with highlights. Have a good day, everybody. <laughs> I do like it, and I did put a ring on it.